The findings of the Uff report revealed many discrepancies in the previous government's development program, and President of the Joint Consultative Council, Winston Riley, is convinced that the procurement practices also showed a clear attempt to undermine local contractors. You see here in Trinidad and Tobago, when the buyer is the government, how he has destroyed the supply market in Trinidad and Tobago. In other words, there was a definite effort to destroy the local construction competence in Trinidad and Tobago. Riley was speaking at a forum which focused on this country's project management practices in the context of the Uff report. Senior engineer Kenrick Burgess told the gathering that the findings show that there was the absence of scope for these projects, neither was any risk analysis done, and the management of human resources was deficient. Burgess says there was also the lack of any financial management. What was very clear when we look at the Uff report and going to that whole concept of cost management was absent. The analysis also concluded there were no set rules governing many of the companies in the Uricot scandal. JCC President Winston Riley says the white paper on public procurement failed to focus on clear guidelines to operate within the construction sector. Riley believes these bodies should be governed by the parliament. The principle behind that is that everything is, everything is transparent. Any decision that is made can be queried by the civil society's body. Everything that is, is, can be carried by queried by individuals who are concerned about what is happening in procurement generally. And Riley says despite the regulations that existed, rules were broken by those who should have known better. For CNC3, I'm Kamal Georges.